I think over the time that I've been involved, which as you probably realise is a fair while now, um, we've probably got the best relationship with the AU we've ever had. Um, we've got a fantastic relationship with Gabrielle and her team in the PTA. Uh, we've got, I think, one of the most positive relationships with the department that we've had even though they've had to deal with their downsizing problems and all of the issues associated with the stage three of uh, educational reform. So it's not been an easy time for them. And when people are in uh, having difficult things to deal with, uh, they can sometimes become difficult people to deal with. And uh, Frank has been able to sail the boat very well in those um, uh, waters and maintain a really good and relationship and in fact build on it. Uh, and of course we've had very good relationships with the ministers as well, so Frank has been able to do all of those things in his leadership role. Secondly, the image of VASP. Um, I think we're a highly respected organisation. We have been for many years, but Frank has continued to build that. Um, we certainly recognise it being the voice of reason in things to do with education. Uh, we certainly make no bones about the fact that we're committed to education in general and state education in particular, and we'll continue to do that. And um, thanks to the work that was done over recent years, we're now in a very solid found, uh, financial situation, much more than we have been perhaps in the past at times. Thirdly, um, Frank's a great team leader. Um, we really enjoy the executive meetings that we have with him, uh, the committees involving a broader range of people, um, and of course the, the membership in general. Um, he, he's also done a lot of work in, in a consultative way and built um, or modified our constitution to try and make it more involving of, of our membership. And of course he has very good relationships with all the support staff that VAS has at its disposal. With communication, I think Frank, when he first took on the job, perhaps was a little bit nervous, as most of us would be, about um, the imp uh, impact of um, the media and how he would manage that. Um, but I think he's done a magnificent job there and is um, always able to speak with authority and to put a good point of view and keep on maintaining the key messages that we're trying to get out to our community. Uh, to the membership, I think all of us feel very much part of VAS because of the, uh, partly at least, but because of the style that um, Frank has brought to it. Um, he's great at attending the meetings and having the one-to-one -one, uh, or small group uh, interactions with, with all of us, uh, but he's also been able to write very uh, detailed and helpful uh, bulletins and other messages to us. In policy development, um, it again has been a very consultative process uh, of developing that both at AGMs like today um, and at uh, our committee meetings to make sure that what we are saying as an organisation does genuinely represent the people in our organisation. I think too we have worked hard or Frank has worked hard in developing within the department um, the um, ethos, I suppose, of them wanting to hear from us about the things that they've got in mind. As he's always pointing out, they don't always listen to us as much as we'd like them to, um, but I think we probably are more consulted now than I can remember for a very long time, and I think Frank has helped that uh, situation along well. I think uh, looking at Frank as a leader, um, he, um, he comes from great experience because he taught in, uh, or taught in a number of schools but also was principal of three schools quite different from each other, a country school, a low socioeconomic school, a higher socioeconomic school, so he came with plenty of up-to-date and relevant experience. Uh, he has this wonderful balancing act of being task-oriented and people-oriented at the same time. Um, most of us tend to do one or the other, but Frank seems to do the two remarkably well. Um, I always find him very positive. Um, each time we have an interaction with Frank, whether it's in a group or in a one-to-one, -one, you walk away feeling encouraged, feeling positive, feeling there's something more that you can do to help the situation along. 
of course, no, uh, there's always a good woman behind every guy, and uh, Marion, I'd really like to uh, acknowledge to you. <laughs> um, I mean, Frank's as good as he is because Marion's as good as she is. We all know. Uh, but they have worked together remarkably well as a team. Uh, you can imagine if you had that sort of close working relationship and it wasn't working very well. Uh, it would impact on the uh, organisation, but um, Brian set the scene very well in his presidency and uh, said, showed how we can do it, and, and Frank's continued that on uh, extremely well. <coughs> a motto that I found years and years ago, and I've tried to fit it into my uh, professional life and private life too, I suppose, is, is the saying, uh, you count and I care. Um, and uh, I think uh, when I try and summarise uh, Frank's contribution, um, he very much lives up to my ideal um, of, he, he's really saying to each one of us that um, you count in my interactions with you and I care about what you care about and um, I think that's um, really strengthened our, or, or continue to strengthen our organisation because of that contribution from that point of view. Well, Frank's one of these uh, unusual life members um, that um, is going to have a continuing educational career after um, he finishes his presidency. Um, it's often a, a retirement function as well, but it's not in this case. And um, we want to wish, uh, wish Frank very well in whatever he does do with the department next year. Um, we're sure he'll do it very well indeed. Um, I guess awarding him a life membership is in two things. It's recognition of services rendered up till now, uh, but it's also an encouragement to continue on those good works um, and stick around and continue to add to education in Victoria. So on your behalf, it's very much my uh, privilege to, um, to ask Frank to stand up here and I'll present him with a, uh, uh, a certificate and a badge to wear. Um, in recognition that he's our latest life member. Congratulations. Frank.